Hey, what's up? So, okay, so I've been able I've been able to identify some problem areas with me. First off, the calorie counting thing, that's not really what I'm doing. I'm just trying to um, give myself some kind of baseline so that I can familiarize myself with what fuel I'm putting into my body and uh, uh, not necessarily so I can stay away from problem foods or whatever, but just so I'm kind of just so I'm just trying to make myself aware of what's going in and and uh, since I'm a sloth, nothing's going out, you know what I mean? Uh, I am a 100% emotional eater. I am I'm an addict big time and when I quit drinking and doing dope, food replaced that. Um, so I'm a 100% emotional eater. If I if anything upsets my little if anything makes a little wave, then it's a thing that's time for me to run to my food, you know. So um, you know, if I'm happy, angry, lonely, you know, emotionally anything, uh, food is like right there. Uh, the other bad habit I have is that uh, because of the years of working graveyard, um, being the only person on site, I don't get a break. I don't get a meal break. I can't clock out and leave and go and eat and come back. And so I'm eating basically between phone calls. So I've learned over the years, that's why I've been doing this for 20 years, is you eat fast and you eat between phone calls basically. So um, unfortunately with eating fast, you tend to overeat because by the time you're full, you're you haven't caught, you know, you're overly full. Um, so I, I eat too much because I eat too fast. Um, the other bad habit I have is that <clears throat> when I come home from work, after I get Zach off to school, I generally will eat a meal and then go to bed. Well, I need to stop doing that because that's horrible. That's, you know, but, um, so what I'm going to try to start doing is trying to eat either like a snack or something light before I, if I'm going to go to bed and then go to bed and do it that way. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, last couple of days I've been able to kind of recognize that and it's now it's back at the forefront. I knew it before, but now it's back at the forefront of my brain. So, um, so yeah, the calorie thing, I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to get a feel for everything and make myself aware of what's going in and, uh, versus what's not going out. Um, you know, I have a very sedimentary life. You know, I, I sit on my butt 12 hours a day at work and then I come home and, you know, pretty much am grabbing it, whatever sleep I can get. So, um, yesterday I didn't eat very much yesterday at all because I knew I was going to pick out today. Um. But I had like one handful of chips and a half a cantaloupe and I had some shredded wheat with fat-free half and half. I eat my cereal with half and half. The fat-free thing, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, fat-free, especially dairy products, is kind of, yeah. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot of dairy. And, I'm, and it's real, I know it's horrible to use half and half in your cereal, but uh, it's something I've been doing for years and it's, you know, um, so... I'm going to do cold, and I don't, I don't do cold cereal a lot, but when I do it, it's got to be half and half. I bought no fat, no fat, non-fat, half and half, uh, to try to experiment with it, and it's, I hate it, it's gross. So I'm not going to do that anymore, so I'm going to get the real half and half, I'm going to have cereal. Um, I also had two tuna sandwiches, a whole wheat bread again, and uh, I had one diet soda and a diet iced tea with zero calories, <clears throat> two cups of coffee, one without cream one with cream, the non-dairy creamer stuff. Uh, so I was well, I'm not that I'm calorie counting, but I was well under a thousand calories last in the last 24 hours. So I am very, 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 very hungry. Um, last three hours, my stomach's been, but that's kind of a good thing because I'm, I haven't been hungry in a very long time. And it's kind of a, a cool thing to know that, okay, this is when my body's asking for fuel. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of a cool thing. Um, if it's just you and me doing it, hey, right on, cool, man. Uh, you're a great motivator, Jeff. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. And, uh, uh, you know, I, as a man, I need something structured in my life. Um, without it, I'm aimlessly walking through life. Um, that was one of the good things about being married was you had somebody there nagging at you um, good or bad I guess um, no offense to any wives out there I don't mean that I really don't mean that in a negative way but I know it sounds that way but it's not 
Um, we appreciate that, really, most of the time. Um, what else? Uh, now I lost my train of thought. But anyway, so right on. If it's just you and me, cool. Uh, and I, you know, I, I think on Big Mike's, I think on his last video he mentioned that him coming over to this channel. So I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna do it. He's just, we need to, you know, get on him about it a little bit. Sister Sunshine, God bless you, dear. You're a sweetie. And uh, yeah, I know, I know. Nobody wants to, you know, put out their, their scale weight, but, you know, do it. Sometimes a little humility is the motivation that we need. Um, yeah. Anyway, other than that, things are good. I'm going to have ribs tonight. I got them, uh, got the uh, rub on them right now. I'm going to let them soak it up for a few hours before I fire up the coals. And, uh... I did this Java coffee rub. Remember when I did that last year for that steak I did? Um, so I'm going to try it on the ribs and see how that turns out. So, um, yeah, we got corn on the cob. And I think we'll have baked potato, probably. But Zach really likes my ribs. And he loves corn on the cob. And I know corn's not really a vegetable, but anytime I can eat him something, he can eat something that's not a carb. Or that's not, you know, bread or whatever. That's a good thing. And he loves corn on the cob. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob and ribs? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> anyway, guys. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. And, um, you know, I guess we just keep on charging along. Because that's what, I mean, that's what we got to do. Nothing else to do. Sit on our butts and get fat. Or... You know, try to do something about it. So, this week I'm going to try to do something about it. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye.